Hi, and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today, God inspired me to talk about the importance of going to church. When a while ago, I was chatting with somebody and they had shared with me why they don't like church. The second I mentioned church, this person was like, oh, no, no, no. And they immediately started to recall a moment in time where they were in need and they turned to the church and the church turned their back on them and didn't help these people. And because of that, they were immediately turned off by church, by the church experience. And that is completely understandable. There was a moment in time where I attended church and I also felt the same. I felt rejected by the church. It's not that I turned to the church in a time of need or anything like that, but I felt rejected by people who were members of a church when I didn't need to feel that way. But because I didn't really understand and I didn't really know any better and I was new to the scripture and knowledge is power, educate yourself. When I study the scripture and I meditate on it, it says in there that the church is made of each and every one of us. What a interesting thing to know. When we really stop and think about it, we're all super unique and the Lord has transformed us and brought us into his house, into the Lord's house to interact with one another, to share our testimony and to change each other's lives forever. But sometimes we get a little hung up. See, the change is not going to come when you're really busy judging everybody in church. While I understand the fact that we may feel like church members and people in church should be more compassionate or should be one way or another, it's ultimately God that leads people to take that step to help you, to guide you, to pray for you, to give you wisdom and enlightenment, and so much more. So before you go and you judge other church members, try your best to refrain from doing so and understand that it's ultimately God that moves people and puts things in people's heart. And if they ignore the Lord, that's on them, okay? But don't let it discourage you from attending church. The scripture says something very important about the church. The church is made up of each of us. And each of us little pieces that make up the church are like a body. The eyes need to be on the body in order for it to operate in the same way that the body needs the arms or the legs or whatever it is that may be that the body is using. All the different components of the body, the eyes, the heart, the legs, alone it may seem like Yes, without that particular feature, we'll be fine. The body will operate. But the reality is, while we can make that adjustment, and not everybody has working body parts, so we need to thank the Lord for ours every single day, the point I'm trying to make, the analogy that I'm trying to bring to you, is that each of us needs one another, okay? While on our own, we are strong and we are independent together, when we are united, when we're, we're unified as a church, we have the ability to what? To share our stories, to spread testimony, to spread ideas, to spread wisdom, to spread our love, to spread our kindness, and to spread so much more. This is what the Lord wants for the church. I hope this message blesses you all. Please brace yourself. Don't judge people. One day the Lord will put you in a situation where you're encountering and facing things that somebody else may have faced or something similar to it so that you can be humble. This is just how the Lord works. I hope this message blesses you all. Here's to the church of Jesus Christ. Take care and God bless.